On Coin 6, we're getting answers from the superintendent of Oregon's largest school district after his big shakeup at headquarters. Now, we've told you how the new head of Portland schools is laying off 31 people and getting rid of 30 jobs that are now vacant at the administration office. Tonight, Lisa Balick joins us live at district headquarters with what the superintendent has to say. Well, Guadalupe Guerrero tells me he took the job here back in October to, quote, transform the school system. But he also told me today the resources to do that are inadequate. And that is a big reason why the former deputy superintendent of the San Francisco school system says he's made the decisions he did to make the cuts. Now he's here in Portland running a district with over 46,000 students, and he says those cuts are one way to balance the budget. I found out the estimated savings from the central office cuts is about six to seven million dollars. What happens to that money? Does that go back to the classrooms or is that spent on the staff that's still existing? Well, school districts right now are facing either level or modest increases in their budgets, but employee costs are going up, operational costs are going up, purse costs are going up, and so it's not as if there's a lot of extra money. We actually have to cover those costs. Now, he told me the priority is to make sure schools and classrooms have the staffing and services they need. Now, by the way, I checked and found out that 50 positions were left unfilled from the central office last year when the interim superintendent balanced the current budget. Now, tonight at 5, you'll hear from the superintendent when I ask him whether any of that money that they're saving will go back into the classrooms. That's tonight at 5. Live in North Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News. Lisa.